in a remarkable breakthrough to reshape the landscape of clean energy, Chinese scientists have achieved what was once thought to be impossible. What is that? Well, China's experimental fusion reactor has now managed to maintain its scorching plasma for an unprecedented 17 minutes. What if we could harness the power of the stars right here on Earth? China's experimental advanced superconducting tokamak reactor just broke a world record, reaching temperatures hotter than the sun approximately 70 million degrees Celsius and holding them for over 17 minutes. We're closer than ever to unlocking an energy source that could change everything forever. These achievements bring us closer to developing a stable and continuous fusion reaction that could eventually power homes and industries without relying on fossil fuels. China has brought humanity one step closer to harnessing limitless clean energy, potentially revolutionizing the way we power our world. But what does this record-breaking experiment mean for the future of fusion energy? And how close are we to unlocking the ultimate power source? Let's dive into the details of this historic breakthrough. Fusion energy has the potential to revolutionize the way we power our world. Unlike coal, oil, or natural gas, fusion does not produce carbon dioxide or other harmful greenhouse gases. This makes it a powerful weapon against climate change. While renewable sources like wind and solar also offer clean energy, they are dependent on weather conditions and require large-scale storage solutions. Fusion, on the other hand, could provide a continuous, stable energy supply without the need for backup fossil fuel power plants. Achieving this milestone required cutting-edge technology and precise engineering. To understand how EAST managed this feat, we need to look at how a tokamak operates. EAST, Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, is a cutting-edge fusion reactor designed to replicate the sun's energy generation process. This donut-shaped tokamak uses powerful superconducting magnets to confine superheated plasma, preventing energy loss and enabling nuclear fusion. Inside its vacuum-sealed chamber, hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, are heated beyond 100 million degrees Celsius creating plasma where atomic nuclei collide and release immense energy. EAST relies on advanced heating methods, including radio frequency waves and neutral beam injection, to achieve these extreme temperatures. Meanwhile, its superconducting magnets require cryogenic cooling with liquid helium to function efficiently, highlighting the challenge of maintaining ultra-hot plasma alongside ultra-cold components. By successfully confining plasma and sustaining fusion conditions, EAST demonstrates fusion's potential as a clean, nearly limitless energy source. China's advancements in fusion energy could have far-reaching implications on the geopolitical stage. If China successfully commercializes fusion energy before other countries, it would not only lead the way in a transformative technology, but also set the terms for future energy policies providing the country with substantial political leverage. As the world seeks alternatives to fossil fuels, the first country to achieve practical fusion power will shape the global energy landscape and play a pivotal role in international energy discussions. However, these advancements in fusion energy will have significant implications for the United States, both in terms of energy policy and broader geopolitical dynamics. If China successfully commercializes fusion energy before other countries, it would not only lead the way in a transformative technology, but also set the terms for future energy policies, giving China considerable political leverage. The U.S. may face growing pressure to accelerate its own fusion research to maintain energy security and autonomy, as fusion represents a virtually limitless and clean energy source. If China becomes the first to achieve practical fusion power, the U.S. might find itself dependent on Chinese technology, much like how the world currently relies on fossil fuel exports from certain nations. This could be particularly concerning from a national security standpoint, as energy independence often intersects with military and geopolitical interests. The global energy landscape would also shift if China leads in fusion technology, potentially altering the balance of power in international energy discussions. The U.S. could find itself competing for influence in regions where energy infrastructure is still developing, particularly in Africa, South Asia, and Latin America. Moreover, fusion could become a key element in global climate negotiations, and China's success in this field could strengthen its leadership role in climate diplomacy. For the U.S., this would necessitate re-evaluating its position in climate talks and taking steps to remain a prominent player in clean energy. 
Economically, China's lead in fusion energy could create a technological arms race, with the U.S. needing to ramp up its own research efforts to stay competitive. If China dominates the fusion market, the U.S. would have to adjust its energy policies and invest in new technologies to ensure it doesn't fall behind. As fusion technology matures, it could disrupt traditional energy industries, and the U.S. would likely face challenges in adapting its infrastructure and workforce. The U.S. would also have to protect its technological sovereignty, addressing concerns over intellectual property and the potential monopolization of fusion technology by China. In terms of national security, fusion energy could change the strategic landscape. As the leader in fusion technology, China could gain a significant advantage, not just in energy production, but in areas like military capabilities and space exploration. The U.S. would need to accelerate its fusion efforts to avoid falling behind, as energy control increasingly intertwines with national defense. The potential for China to control such a transformative energy source could alter the U.S.A.D.S.S. approach to energy diplomacy, particularly in regions where energy security plays a critical role in global conflicts. Ultimately, China's success in fusion energy could place significant pressure on the U.S. to advance its own energy research, adjust its foreign policy, and navigate the emerging competition in the global energy sector. Fusion energy may soon become a crucial element in determining the balance of power in the 21st century, and the U.S. will need to respond strategically to maintain its leadership in both energy and geopolitics. However, despite its impressive progress, China faces a multitude of challenges in bringing fusion energy from experimental laboratories to commercial viability. These challenges span technical, financial, logistical, and political domains, each of which requires careful navigation to ensure that the dream of clean, limitless energy becomes a reality. One of the most significant challenges China faces is the inherent complexity of nuclear fusion itself. Fusion reactions, which replicate the process occurring in the sun, require immense heat and pressure to overcome the electrostatic repulsion between atomic nuclei. To sustain fusion reactions, plasma temperatures must exceed 100 million degrees Celsius, far hotter than the core of the sun. While East has made notable strides in reaching and sustaining such temperatures, the technology necessary to maintain such extreme conditions over long periods is still in its infancy. China's fusion reactors, like those of other nations, rely on superconducting magnets to contain the plasma. But these magnets need to be cooled to ultra-low temperatures using liquid helium. This cryogenic cooling is a significant technical hurdle, as any malfunction in the cooling system could lead to the sudden loss of containment and cause a collapse of the plasma, stopping the fusion reaction. In addition to the technical difficulties of achieving and sustaining the extreme conditions necessary for fusion, China faces the challenge of making fusion energy commercially viable. Fusion reactors must not only generate more energy than they consume, but they must do so consistently and reliably. Achieving this so-called net positive energy has proven elusive for fusion researchers worldwide. For now, the energy input required to heat the plasma and maintain the reaction exceeds the energy output, making fusion energy not yet a practical solution for the world's energy needs. Even if China can eventually overcome this barrier, the infrastructure required to support large-scale fusion energy generation is enormous. Constructing fusion power plants involves high upfront costs due to the advanced materials and technology required to build reactors capable of sustaining fusion reactions. These costs will likely be a major factor in determining when fusion energy becomes a commercially viable option, and China must carefully balance the long-term benefits with the substantial financial investment needed to bring fusion power to the grid. A related challenge is China's ability to maintain the technological and industrial base needed for sustained innovation in fusion energy. While China has invested heavily in research and development, its ability to foster a domestic ecosystem capable of producing the cutting-edge materials and components necessary for fusion reactors remains limited. For example, fusion reactors require specialized materials that can withstand the intense heat and radiation produced by fusion reactions. These materials are currently scarce and expensive to produce. Moreover, China's reliance on imported high-tech components for some aspects of its fusion research could create vulnerabilities in its long-term efforts. Any disruption in the global supply chain, whether due to geopolitical tensions or trade restrictions, could slow the progress of fusion energy development in China. 
Political challenges also play a significant role in the development of China's fusion energy ambitions. While fusion technology holds enormous potential, its widespread adoption would have profound economic, environmental, and political implications. China's push to lead the world in fusion energy could raise concerns among other nations, particularly those already invested heavily in competing energy technologies. This competition could lead to tensions over intellectual property, technology sharing, and access to fusion energy resources. The US, the European Union, and other nations with ambitious clean energy goals may view China's dominance in fusion energy as a threat to their own energy security and technological leadership. As a result, China may find itself in a complex geopolitical environment where its efforts to push the boundaries of fusion technology could spark competition or even conflict with other major powers. International cooperation, while essential to advancing fusion research, also introduces a level of uncertainty. While China has been collaborating with the ITER, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, Project in France, and other international fusion initiatives, these collaborations come with their own set of diplomatic challenges. Fusion energy is a highly sensitive and strategic area of research, and some nations may be reluctant to share their findings with China due to concerns over the potential transfer of technology that could have dual-use applications. China's historical approach to intellectual property and technology transfer has raised concerns among other countries, which could limit its ability to access the knowledge and partnerships necessary to advance its fusion energy efforts. Moreover, any diplomatic tensions or disruptions in global cooperation could slow progress toward the shared goal of commercial fusion energy. Another obstacle China faces is the environmental and social impact of scaling up fusion energy technology. While fusion is widely regarded as a clean energy source with virtually no carbon emissions, the materials required for fusion reactors are not without environmental concerns. For example, the extraction and processing of lithium, a key material needed for fuel and fusion reactors, could have environmental consequences. Furthermore, building and operating fusion power plants could have local environmental impacts, particularly during the construction phase. While fusion energy offers the promise of a sustainable, long-term energy solution, China must ensure that its path toward commercialization does not exacerbate existing environmental challenges or create new ones. There is also the matter of public perception and support for fusion energy development. While fusion has long been viewed as the holy grail of clean energy, public enthusiasm and investment in fusion technology can fluctuate. Many people may be skeptical of the viability of fusion energy, especially after decades of promises with little tangible results. For China's fusion energy push to succeed, it will need to gain the backing of both its public and its government. This means ensuring that fusion energy is seen not only as a scientific achievement, but also as a crucial element of China's energy strategy moving forward. China's leadership in clean energy will likely require both political will and public confidence that fusion energy can contribute to addressing the nation's growing energy demands without exacerbating environmental problems. Finally, the challenge of scaling fusion energy technology to meet global demand cannot be underestimated. Even if China successfully develops a working fusion reactor, it will take time to deploy the technology on a large scale. Fusion power plants are complex and require large-scale infrastructure, including extensive power transmission networks and specialized workforce training. Scaling fusion technology for global use will require significant investment in workforce development, public-private partnerships, and coordination between governments and industry players. This scaling process is likely to take decades, and China must carefully manage the transition from experimental reactors to large-scale commercial fusion power plants. In conclusion, while China's advancements in fusion energy are undeniably impressive, the road to commercializing fusion power is fraught with challenges. These challenges include overcoming the technical complexities of sustaining fusion reactions, addressing financial and industrial limitations, navigating political and diplomatic hurdles, and ensuring the environmental sustainability of fusion energy. As China continues its efforts to make fusion energy a reality, it must confront these multifaceted challenges head on balancing ambition with careful strategy. Only by overcoming these obstacles will China be able to unlock the full potential of fusion energy and claim its place at the forefront of the global energy revolution.